70% of men you see today that are childless is because of their carelessness. Today, I am going to tell you the things you do as a man that can make you to become important for life. Listen very carefully and share this video to everyone you know. There are some certain things that can happen to your balls. If down there, the one you know as ball, you know very well that that thing is the most important thing in your life. In fact, you can refer to those two balls you know as your kids. Yes, those things are your children. They are your future children. They are your generation. And of course, there are some tests that once you undergo that test, you'll find out that you are having issues with your sperm. Number one, morphological issue. When the sperm are not well developed, there is deformity in the formation of your sperm that is maybe the sperm has two head and of course you know the sperm is supposed to have one head and one tail that's how it's supposed to make it to swim properly into the echoes of your woman so once your sperm is having deformation problem that when your sperm is having two or three head you find out that when this thing is being released inside the echoes of your woman other head will be dragging the other one to come to this, this other side why the other one will will be dragging the neighbor to come to the other side and before you know it the three of them will buy at that spot and there is mission failed number two test that can help you to identify that you're having a problem is motility issue when the sperm cannot be able to move it is as if the the sperm is stagnant is not able to move it is just vibrating like it is just there without moving and of course you know there is a lot of war when the sperm is about to meet the echoes there are maybe like 300 armies meanwhile the sperm you are sending to go to go for the war is just 100 that simply means there is problem so when this sperm is stagnant without moving or going anywhere that is when there is problem because they will buy at that spot without accomplishing the mission you sent them to do i am going to tell you the things you do unconsciously that is going to damage the two balls that are supposed to be your generation number one is do not sit in a hot seat did you hear me don't sit in a chair that is hot you need to understand that that two balls down there is 35 degrees Celsius and of course your body system is 37 degrees Celsius this simply means that your, those two balls is meant to be cooler than your body so some of you that accept advice like pour water in a bucket boil hot water make sure it is well boiled and then put it in a bucket and sit on it it is so so unfortunate that even our men buy that idea of, of sitting in a hot water this brings us to our topic today that once you sit on a hot water or hot seat you are likely to damage a lot of things in your reproductive system and of course you are likely to terminate all your future children so listen very careful on no account should you uh, should you accept any advice that tells you to sit on a hot water for you to get rid of any kind of infection it is not acceptable please my brother do not do that do not attempt to do that because that is going to damage a whole lot of things in those two boys that are supposed to be your generation you need to know that sperm are produced in that school bag sperm are produced in that two places and once you sit on a hot place you are likely to have motility issues viscosity issue and even the condition of the sperm will be damaged so you need to understand that that school bag is as important as anything you can think about if you are still interested in having children you have to protect it with everything you have and number two is avoid wearing any form of tight thing that can compress that school bag yes some of you wear pants and I don't know why you do that. Some men will tell you that wearing pants makes them feel comfortable. Meanwhile, you are compressing the two things that is supposed to be your children. You are compressing it. You are suffocating it. Why not allow it to breathe? Allow the school bag breathe. These are your children. And once you damage it, you are likely to have a serious problem in the future. So you need to listen very carefully. Hear me out and share this video. You are supposed to wear bosses. This will make air to penetrate inside that area and help to keep it healthy. Once you are compressing that area, you are likely to damage a lot of things. So when you are compressing it, you will find out that you will sweat profusely you sweat too much in that area and your and the temperature of that area is likely to increase so 
and just like i said you don't need to allow that area to increase when you go to any form of occasion let me talk about sitting down in a horse seat when you go to any form of occasion and you find out that the seat has been on some for a very long time and they offer such seat to you my brother please do not sit on it allow the seat to get cool before you sit on it and i'll say man you are supposed to sit and have your legs wide apart it is only women that we advise to keep their leg intact to keep their legs together but as a man please when you sit down wide your legs apart and allow those school bags to rest on the chair and make sure that the chair is it is cool it is not the type of chair that will boil the, the two balls and for some of you that enter public transport you'll find out that maybe the transport you enter you're about to enter the seat is very hot and somebody will be telling you to close up your leg that you are you need to make chances for them please caution that person and tell the person that you're protecting your future kids i don't know if you get my point no matter what the person is telling you you need to understand that you are supposed to wide your legs apart and allow the allow your future kids to breathe at this point i believe i have meant a lot of senses please do well to share comment and like thank you for listening and for watching my name is miss lucius bye